In this episode, we will talk about basic cosmology. Let's enjoy it. General relativity is the universally accepted theory of gravity. It can explain several already observed phenomena. General relativity is able to explain the propagation of gravitational waves, the precession of the periodic of Mercury, dragging effects, gravitational time dilation, as well as the dynamic of the current universe. But then it emerges the question, how to explain cosmology inside the scenario of general relativity? There is a series of assumptions in order to develop cosmology inside the scenario of general relativity. The first assumption is the homogeneity and isotropy of the universe at large scales. Precisely because the space-time is uh, homogeneous and isotropy at large scales, then we can assume that the metric is maximally symmetric in the three spatial coordinates. However, the time coordinate still preserves a special status in this formalism. The metric to be considered in these situations is the Robertson-Walker metric. This metric contains a scale factor, A, as well as a curvature parameter called kappa. This metric takes into account the homogeneity and isotropy of the universe at large scale by taking the three spatial dimensions on equal footing. By introducing the Robertson-Walker metric inside the Einstein equations, we then obtain the Friedman equations, which are obtained from the two independent components of the Einstein equations, which are obtained after considering the homogeneity and isotropy of the universe at large scales. If, in addition, we consider the energy momentum conservation by using the Robertson-Walker metric, then we can obtain the evolution of the different components of densities of the universe. The components of the universe are, in a sense, matter, radiation, and vacuum energy. We can then obtain the density of these components as a function of the scale factor. If we consider the critical energy density as a function of the Hubble parameter as it appears on the screen, then we can simplify one of the Friedman equations. The resulting equation helps us to analyze the content of the universe. The content of the universe is divided in matter, radiation and vacuum energy. The contributions due to the spatial curvature appear on the right-hand side of the same equation. Interestingly, the current observations suggest that the universe is flat. Then we can analyze the content of the universe under the assumption of the flatness of the universe. In cosmology, we have several open questions. Among them, we have what is the final destiny of our universe? Why is the universe expanding in an accelerated way? What is dark matter? What is dark energy? And why the universe seems to be flat? Is it really flat? In summary, the Friedman equations help us to analyze the dynamic of the universe as well as its content. The universe at large scales is considered to be homogeneous and isotropic. The metric model in this universe is the Robertson-Walker metric. Due to the homogeneity and isotropy conditions, the space-time is considered to be maximally symmetric in the three spatial dimensions. Finally, the Friedman equations are obtained by introducing the Robertson-Walker metric inside the Einstein equations. If you liked this video, please give us a like, share the link, and subscribe to the channel. 
more videos in Spanish and in English are coming very soon. Continue with us. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.